Hello Skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Chatting Skeletons episode. So this episode is titled, Hubby's Messed Up April Fool's Joke Became a Reality. We're going to go all the way back to April 1st, 2020. Actually, no, we're going to go back even further than that. I started gaining weight um, after I had quit my job from NOS as a games attendant, and I had put on like 50 pounds within, I think it was like two years, three years, something like that. And I told Hubby that I wanted to start running this trail that was by my house. And it would be great because you'd already get a workout walking to the trail because it's uphill. And then you get the running from running the trail. And then it's just a cool walk back down the hill. So we were going to buy running shoes. But unfortunately, at the time, I was trying to get a new job. And I wasn't exactly getting paid well enough to afford running shoes because sneakers and shoes in general are just getting so damn expensive nowadays and it's just absolutely ridiculous but hubby lately was well recently was nice enough to buy us running shoes because we were going to take walks while we were while we were in quarantine since we have been buying so much stuff on amazon just to help ourselves out through all this i had completely spaced that the shoes were even purchased so April Fool's Day rolls around and we wake up and I'm getting ready to make some breakfast or lunch or whatever the hell it was time we woke up. And hubby says, oh, my switch came in. And I said, switch? What? What do you mean switch? Because since he had been here at the house, he hadn't been able to play his PS4. And I guess the Wii wasn't really cutting it that much because... All I had was a few games for him to play solo, and the ones that we could play together were kind of mediocre. So he goes, yeah, my Switch came in. I'm like, sweetie, you can't be buying stuff like that right now. We're we're not working, you know. We're not making enough to afford stuff like that. He goes, oh, no, but I, I put money aside. I, I can afford this. I'm like, sweetie, you can't be making extravagant purchases like this. I was getting pissed. And at one point, I don't know what prompted me to ask this, but I asked, did you buy any games? Because I knew he had some games saved. But I didn't know if like the Switch came with any or, or whatever. And he starts getting this shit-eating grin on his face. And he said, April Fool's, and handed me the package. And it turned out to be my running shoes. Of course, Hubby got slapped 15 times over. Now fast forward a little bit. We're on a Skype or a phone call with um, Harley Baby's Hubby. And they start talking about the Switch. And of course, Hubby... My hubby wants to get the Switch. And I told him, well, wait till your 1200 comes in and then you can get the Switch because that way you have some money to fall back on, blah, blah, blah. His 1200 did come in and eventually he did actually buy the Switch. Problem is, a lot of people had already bought out the Switch. So the only option was to get the Switch Lite because that's the only one that's available at the moment. And he had to order it off of um, GameStop, or I'm sorry, Best Buy, and the only one that was available is the teal because everyone else has been buying out the game console just to keep themselves occupied during this time. So he got it. He got some games and he told me that once um, all this is over and the actual Switch comes back into stock that um, I'm going to get the Switch Lite while he plays the Switch. Which means he saved me a couple of games and I'm, I'm such a basic ass bitch. I got like the Tsum Tsum game, all the cooking mamas. And again, I'm not like the biggest fan of video games. I mean, with my 3DS and my DS Lite, um, I don't have many like video games that most people would play. I only have a few. But it turns out that there's like this arcade game for the Switch Lite that's like all of the 8-bit games like Galaga and Centipede and shit like that. So I can't wait to get that game. But anyways, yeah, Hubby's messed up April Fool's joke actually became a reality later. But still, I could not believe that he pulled that crap on April Fool's Day. And he is so lucky he's not buried six feet under. But he's lucky that didn't happen even more. But we will discuss that on the next episode of Chatting Skeletons. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.